It's that time of year again. The dust is in the air, and the rumble of combines rings out across the hills and plains. And the memories of many years snaps into focus. Welcome to the Soybean Harvest. The soybean harvest is a unique challenge. It's a crop that tests the limits of headers, rotors, spreaders, and most of all farmers. With such a limited harvest window, literally millions can be lost if the wrong kind of storm blows your way. And the challenges of the soybean harvest have helped shape combines. Our Dynaflex Draper header was in part inspired by the need to perform better at getting those low pods near ground level. And many of the updates on the Super Series are a direct result of what we've learned harvesting soybeans. Because of the time restraints getting in beans, our competitors have taken a particular approach to updates on their combines. For starters, a lot of our competitors have focused on making much larger combines. The idea is that one can simply horsepower their way through harvest, regardless of the grain quality or loss. And in some ways, this is not so far from the truth. It's better to lose 3% out the back of the combine than to lose 30% in a hailstorm. At the same time, our competitors will often suggest the high fuel use and dirty grain samples are acceptable in such high capacity conditions. At Gleaner, our view on this is simple. Get the capacity with the clean grain, low loss, and in with less fuel. Here's how we do it. Our capacity comes from a variety of sources. First off, our feeding is not limited by a beater, auger, or narrowing inlet like our competitors when they feed their axial rotors. Instead, our crop feeds directly into the gleaner's transverse rotor. Once in the rotor, crop threshes on the largest threshing and separating area on any combine. We get more area in a smaller space because our rotor cage is open 360 degrees. Our competitors are a fraction of that. Finally, our combine is much less limited by the capacity of the shoe because much of our cleaning takes place in midair. Our competitors must rely on their cleaning shoes that can quickly get overloaded with material. Gleaner achieves its legendary clean grain samples for much the same reason. The two-stage cleaning system removes much of the mog before the material even hits the shoe. Thanks to the transverse design, crop material always falls at the front of the shoe and is hit with a consistent velocity air blast. It's this control that allows gleaners to have such low loss levels. As part of our trip, we decided we wanted to see just how well the Gleaner Super Series performs in beans. So we met up with Gleaner's Kevin Bean to see how clean this S77 could get the beans and how it can handle the loss. We performed a loss analysis by gently clearing a roughly one foot wide area by the width of the header where the combine had passed over. In this situation, we count the beans found in that area to predict the loss per acre. In all of the catches, we consistently found less than 1% loss. We recognize, I think most importantly, and I heard that a lot of the farmers out here in the field today observing, uh, you know, one of the things they're, they're saying very clearly, I think, is that uh, they want capacity, but they want low loss levels. They, they don't want to see, uh, you know, uh, a bushel or two uh, left in the field. Uh, we're out here probably in some of these uh, uh, catches that we've looked at here, we're probably running uh, a tenth of a bushel per acre, if, uh, if that, in some cases, I haven't seen hardly anything out here. We're, we're putting it all in the bin. Our next test was with grain quality. To make sure we weren't simply scooping beans from a clean part of the bin, Kevin held a container under the unloader spout while it was unloading. The results were essentially zero foreign matter. As we travel the bean harvest, we're finding more farmers beginning to pay attention to these numbers. You know, with our foreign matter, if we can have, you know, swingage of one, two, three percent where we're on the good side uh, of the money there and we're not getting docked for our foreign matter, it all adds up at the end of the day and putting money to our bottom line. If you're getting two percent less loss and two percent less dockage on your samples, that's a four percent addition to your harvest. On October 14, 2012, we saw a bean price of $12.50 per bushel. For a farmer with 1,000 acres of beans and an average yield of 50 bushels an acre, that 4% savings is more than $25,000. Along the road, we're finding more farmers interested in what a gleaner can do for their bottom line. Because ultimately, that's the line that counts. We spent a week in Missouri, Kansas, and Nebraska inhaling bean dust and eating more than a few meals in the field. We got to see 80 bushel bin busters so knotted and twisted it makes you shudder just to look at them. 
and we got to see this gleaner bringing in the crop and costing less to do it. Thank you for tuning in to our progress as we get the Super Series out on the road showing farmers what a good investment it really is. We hope to see you out there bringing in your crop, and we hope next year you'll be doing it in your own Super Series Combine from Gleaner. Until next time, Great Silver Fleet, have a safe and bountiful harvest from your friends at Gleaner.